So, Brian, correct me if I'm wrong. Am I the only thing standing between cocktail hour? That, that is a horrible position to be in, and I don't even have a video as well. But um, thank you. Uh, I think we heard numerous times this morning the word growth. And we need to go where the growth is. And I'm sure you've all heard the statistic, statistics that 95% of the world's population live, consume, and purchase products outside the United States. And in the next decade, they are predicting that one billion middle-class consumers will join that population. And that really represents a billion opportunities for your companies. And we are here at WDC to actually lead you to those opportunities and provide you the strategy to do that. If you take a, a snapshot where we are, I think um, innovation. I think when you hear about what does Wisconsin exports, what, is, what do we export, I think the first thing that comes to mind, you probably think of agriculture. You probably think we are the leading dairy exporter. And we do export quite a bit of dairy products, agriculture in general. We do close to um, $2.4 billion a year. But overall, uh, we export close to $20 billion on a yearly basis. And the leading exports are industrial, electrical, medical and scientific equipment, um, construction equipment, and paper products. Uh, agriculture is, is lower down on the list. And we have that diverse portfolio because we have innovation within, it, within that portfolio. And that's really driving um, our growth. In the first three quarters of 2011, I, I think you see a dip here in 2008. I think you, that's really um, represents the global recession. But we're rebounding quite quickly, and we're rebounding uh, quicker than the national average. And exports is really growing that. Where are exports going? In general, overall, our exports are going, um, of course, because of proximity. We're exporting to Canada and Mexico are leading to export markets. Uh, China is our leading, our third largest export destination, followed by Germany and Japan. If you were to look at a snapshot, um, if you look at the snapshot 10 years ago, in, uh, or in 2000, our top three export markets, uh, Japan or China, Chile, Brazil weren't even in the top 10 export markets. Today, China is our number three export market, followed by uh, Chile and Brazil. Chile is our number 10th, and uh, Brazil is following up in number ninth, growing rapidly. So what does that mean for you? If you look at our high-tech exports, high-tech exports, if you were to combine several different product categories, that would be medical equipment, pharmaceutical, aircraft and, and spacecraft, um, equipment and supplies. That would um, encompass this high-tech category. And you can see that we have grown exponentially over the last uh, few years, and we're actually growing faster than the national average. Um, last year, we had um, a little over $2 billion worth of exports in this category. Where are these high-tech exports going to? Again, they're, they mirror similar to um, our overall exports, uh, China, Japan, France, Canada, and Germany, all leading. As you notice, the top three markets all have double-digit growth. This really provides um, opportunities for you, especially in the medical, um, medical and scientific equipment category. If you were to really dive down deep into the product categories, uh, X-ray equipment, scientific devices, diagnostic tools, those are really all leading categories in this high-tech area. So how do you take advantage of these opportunities? How do, you, how do you grow your business and go overseas? We have several great opportunities for you. For your individuals in the room or companies in the room who have never exported before, we want to make sure that you lay the foundation and have a strategy in place to do that. And we are in working in partnership with the Wisconsin Manufacturing Extension Partnership to provide a program for you. And in 12 weeks, you can come out with an actual strategy and an action plan on paper um, that is actually created with your key principles within your company. We are going to be executing several of these programs, which we're referring to as export tech, um, around the state. The next one is happening uh, starting in February. That will be in the Wausau area. If you're interested, I'd love to talk to you about it. I do have information here with me about the program. But again, at the end of that 12-week period, you will have a customized export strategy. And that is actually, it's, it's a workshop format. It's developed with coaches and mentors over a 12-week period. And at the end, you'll actually be able to move to the next step of actually targeting your markets and actually going into the market and visiting buyers, investors who are interested in your business and your products. Um, coming this spring, WDC has three great opportunities that, you hope, that we hope you'll join us. Um, one of the countries um, I'm sure you've heard a lot about is India. 
Um, India is a huge um, growth market for us. We are doing a targeted approach to India. We have identified water products, um, equipment, consulting um, as a great opportunity for our businesses in Wisconsin. If you are involved in that area, we would love to talk to you. We actually have some grant funding through SBA to actually help subsidize this trip for water-related companies who are less than 500 employees. We're also partnering with BioForward, another benefit of your membership, to um, identify those companies who are eligible for this uh, scholarship and actually um, funding available to go to India. We'll be leaving um, April 22nd, going through May 1st. We'll be um, actually hiring a contractor to set up one-on-one -on -one meetings for you in three locations. We'll be stopping in Delhi um, to participate in the, uh, a large water show called Aquatech. We'll be going to Chennai to um, another water show. And then also we'll be um, stopping in Kolkata. All the three major areas and hotbeds in India that are investing money in water technology. And by 2025, it's predicted that India will invest $108 billion annually just on water technology to help um, with wastewater and um, treatment facilities. Um, we're also traveling to Southeast Asia. We heard a lot about mobile apps. This is a great opportunity for you. When you look at countries all throughout Southeast Asia, there are no landlines. They use uh, cell phones to communicate, and they need new applications um, to develop that infrastructure. Um, we'll be going to Indonesia, Vietnam, Thailand. These are three really new dynamic markets. If you are currently exporting um, and you want to expand your reach into some really new developing um, economies, this would be a perfect fit for you. Again, we'll be doing one-on-one -on -one meetings for you in each one of these locations. We'll be doing briefings, site visits. And in this, uh, for this particular business development mission, we're actually targeting several different um, category or, or industry sectors. If you're involved in um, equipment, um, environmental technology, medical equipment, renewable energy, power generation. This will be an excellent fit for your export portfolio. Um, another activity that we'll be doing, we'll be um, headed to South America. Uh, April 14th through the 24th, we'll have a very busy spring. We will be taking a group of companies really focusing on um, agricultural related equipment, medical and healthcare equipment. If you're in the mining industry, Again, construction and medical and healthcare um, products. This is all a great new um, growth market for you. We'll be going to Brazil, Chile, and Colombia. Really looking at um, taking advantage of the new um, F, uh, foreign uh, uh, trade agreement that is, has been signed with Colombia, really eliminating 100% of the tariff on 80% of consumer products. Um, looking at Brazil, which is going to be, which has um, double-digit growth in GDP um, and growing infrastructure needs. Um, this will be a great opportunity for you to partner with us, travel to the market, again, one-on-one -on -one meetings. We'll be um, working with you, really um, diving into who are your end users, your customers. Are you looking for investment, um, research partnerships? Um, we will go with you to the market, identify critical partners for you, set up those meetings, and then also provide you site, site tours and, and um, meetings to help you facilitate that business. This is just um, a sample of um, opportunities to help you grow your, your market portfolio overseas. We also have a variety of other services that are available. If you are, um, um, I, I know we had the FDA gentleman. Um, FDA is very critical in our exports because they also provide a lot of our export documentation that um, has to accompany a lot of your export shipments. We partner with them uh, a great deal. And, um, we provide these opportunities on a yearly basis. If you'd like to be on a mailing list, an email list, to hear about when these opportunities come up, please contact us. If you're currently exporting and facing a lot of regulatory issues or barri barriers, identifying export certification, documentation, we have individuals on staff that can help you troubleshoot those issues. Um, you can call us anytime. Um, we're available. I'll have my cards here and information on all these um, missions and events that I've just uh, briefly talked about. Thank you.